Okay, see here we have an example of instantaneous gradient. Okay, so find the instantaneous gradient from first principles for the following function at x equal to 7. Okay, so why do they mention from first principles? Because there is an easier way, much easier than first principles, but that, we'll get to that. Okay, it is important though that we understand what it means to get it from first principles. From first principles, let me just draw this graph and show you. Okay, so what this graph looks like is like this, more or less. Okay, without that little twitch at the end, but okay. This graph almost looks like, looks like that. And at x equal to 7, wherever that is, let's say x equal to 7 is there, okay, we want to know what is the gradient at that very point. In other words, if we were to draw tangent line, at line just touching the graph at that point, what would that tangent line's gradient be? Or another way of looking at it, if someone was to stand at that point, at what angle would they stand, not angle, but gradient would they stand at? Okay, to do that, we use first principles, means that um, we are trying to find the instantaneous gradient. Okay, let's call it m inst. Okay, and we find that by saying what happens when x tends to 7, okay, in other words, I'm trying to get to 7, to the gradient, and the gradient um, is given by f of x minus f of, so let's, let's start with the formula, okay, so before we substitute over x minus a, that, that's the formula for instantaneous gradient at a certain point at point a so this is actually now a is equal to 7 okay so we have substituting what happens when the limit when x tends to 7 of if x minus f 7 divided by x minus 7 and uh, that gives me the limit when x tends to 7 and now I substitute the functions okay so here I've got uh, fx is is given that's 2x to the power of 3 minus f of 7 that's 2 times 7 to the power of 3 I don't know what 7 to the power of 3 I'm gonna have to use my calculator but that's okay um, x minus 7 Okay, uh, before I actually get to there, let's rather simplify it from here. Okay, so before I do do that, let's say we take out a 2 as a common factor, x to the power of 7, we take out 2 as a common factor, and uh, that gives us 2x cubed minus 7 cubed divided by x minus 7 okay now we can see we can't substitute 7 in here because the problem is if we do substitute it in there we are going to get 0 in the denominator so I have to do take an alternative route and that route is to factorize numerator and denominator denominator is already in its simplest form okay so what I'm going to do with the numerator is that is the difference of two cubes. A big bracket, a small bracket. The big bracket is everything without the cubes. So you see, I don't know need to know what 7 to the power of 3 is. I can leave it like that. And uh, this one is, the first bracket is the one without the cubes. The second bracket is this one squared. Okay. Uh, the sign is opposite to that sign, so that's a plus. The middle term is these two multiplied together, so 7 x and the last term is the last one here squared so negative 7 squared is positive 49 over x minus 7 and here we can see the x minus 7 can cancel with that x minus 7 to leave us with the following okay so now we have that the limit of x tending to 7 of 2 x squared plus 7 x plus 49 and now I can just substitute okay let's substitute see what we get 
Okay, why can I substitute? Because there's no denominator anymore. Substituting now does not make my denominator equal to zero. So then I'm allowed to do it. So I get seven squared plus seven times seven plus four. 49. That's interesting. It's 7 squared plus 7 squared plus 7 squared. <laughs> okay, so what do we get? 7 squared plus 7 squared. This is 49, 49, 49. That gives me 147. Okay, times 2, that gives me 394. <laughs> gradient of 394. That is extremely steep. I think that's the steepest gradient I've ever calculated in my life. Okay, and I've never climbed that. Okay, so that's my instantaneous gradient. A guy standing at that point is actually hanging at that point. There's no way you can stand at <laughs> that gradient. Cool. Um, this was fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it as easy as I hope I made it. Okay, see you in the next video.